For 10 years of my life, I was reduced to six digits. 755376 replaced my identity. My name is David Gaspar, and I'm the National Director of Operations for the Bell Project. Annually, we are seeing five million people cycle through our jails, stuck in this system of not being able to afford their freedom. I was one of those people. I found myself at 22 years old, sitting in a county jail, not really knowing how I wound up there. And I remember uh, accepting a plea bargain for 21 years because I just wanted it to be over. I was no longer looking for justice. I was no longer looking for um, anything other than a way out. But when I actually got to prison, I felt it wasn't where I was meant to be. And I earned my GED. I earned my college education. I actually taught myself law. I went into that law library every day reading countless books. And I actually won my appeal. And I was released 11 years early. And I just refused to believe from day one that I was released and given back 11 years of my life not to do something about it. As I sit here today as the National Director of Operations, I still take with me the feeling of sitting across the table from someone who has had their freedom denied to them, that has had their humanity reduced to a dollar figure. The impact on families and communities is generational. I tell my story from the moment I got arrested but the truth is that my story started way before that. I experienced so much through the experiences of my family, of my stepfather being incarcerated and getting out, and us trying to figure out how to pay bond, of us trying to figure out how to pay the bills, of us trying to figure out how we were going to sleep. But what's amazing is that when I turned 18, it was like none of that ever happened. And we do that to so many of our communities. We ask them to pretend like their histories don't exist that that didn't cause trauma, that that didn't set them back. Jail is not the place for rehabilitation. When you are already in a position of poverty and you can't afford your bail, and now you're condemned to have to serve a sentence before you even have your day in court, that's just torture. Our bail disruptors are out there in our communities, not just serving individual clients, but serving a larger need within the communities that they live and that they operate in. So the Bail Project has been able to post bond for over 21,000 people since 2018 in over two dozen towns and cities across America. I sit here today as proof, as evidence, that jails deny people of their human potential. But just imagine a world where you have those who have been impacted working side by side with those who have the means to do something about it and what types of solutions we could actually come to that change the world for the better. I sit before you today as David Gaspar, a loving husband, father of five children, grandfather, a second generation Mexican, born and raised here in the United States. I sit before you not as a number, but as a man, a real person with a real identity.